Hi, I'm Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. This is the Tiburon 24 FB. Maybe you have friends who joke about, oh, I want to go glamping. You haven't been glamping until you have gone from coast to coast, basically anywhere, in a Tiburon. This is a Mercedes-Benz motorhome. It is fully featured, very luxurious, very easy to drive. It is loaded with tech, and I can't wait to show you what it's all about and how to use it. Let's just start right up front and work our way all the way around until we get inside. We'll talk about what is under the hood once we get behind the wheel. And what do we do when we get behind the wheel? We put the hammer down. It's one of my favorite parts of every single motorhome. What I really like about the way Mercedes set this up, though, outside of the fact it just screams Mercedes class and style. It's an absolutely beautiful motorhome. They made it easy to maintain a well, at least up front. You got this nice step, so you can come up here. You can wipe off that lovely Tiburon logo. You can wipe off the window. And I do want to point out on these windshield wipers, I love just these little features. I, I'm, I'm like a, a giddy little schoolboy when uh, features like this come out. This is a wet wiper system, so instead of having the jets here, that, you know, shoot the, the, shoot the fluid on the windshield or when you get mad on your car and you bend them and so they spray the car behind you, you don't, you don't do that, do you? No. That's what the wet wiper system is for. The, the fluid, the washer juice actually sprays right out of the wiper onto the windshield so it's going to clean it for you. Uh, just a great tiny little feature. You have your fog lights down below. As we wrap around, we talk about our one-piece fiberglass front cap from wing wall to wing wall. One piece molded, going to be very, very durable, going to be less maintenance for you as it's, it's just one piece. We do have our mirrors right here. You have heated remote mirrors. Uh, you control those inside. We'll show that to you when we get inside and look at the dash. You have these nice entry steps as you climb on in. And as you climb in, always, always important to look at your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. On this Tiburon, your OCCC 797 pounds, and this is also going to give you your length from front to back, 25 feet, 8 inches. Now, one tip I like to pass on as we're outside. Now, these chairs do swivel. They are power seats, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go inside. But you can take and swivel these around, and it's easy to do it with the door open, right? They have these boosters for you, and those become part of your living area. Then what you do is you get this back into position, right? This is just a little, it's like a, a cheat code, only it's better than up, down, up, down, triangle, X, square, down, up, triangle, square, down, start. You put this right where you want it, program it into your memory three, right? You press M, then you hold down three. You have this set, so when you flip this around on your campsite, you hit three, it gets right where you want it to go. Maybe it's, maybe it's cold out. Turn on the seat heaters, boom, warm tush as you're camping. Just a little, little trick from me to you. As we work our way down, a lot of stuff to talk about on our entry step. I like that it has a screen door, right? So you can let some ventilation through. You do have, you do have locks. As we walk in, you do have your battery disconnect switch here. You want that on the entire trip. It, it turns on all the 12 volt systems inside your Tiburon. Do not turn that off until you are done. We'll talk more about plugging it in and power and the inverter. But you know, let's talk about the inverter because the switch is right here. You can turn it on. It is a 1000 watt inverter. It is going to power the entertainment systems inside the coach as well as select outlets. Also inside here, you do have have um, a, a number of switches for your jacks. Now this one has the one touch leveling jacks. That's an option. There are also electric stabilizing jacks. So they do two different things. These are leveling jacks. The others are electric stabilizing jacks. Uh, over on the other side, we'll talk more about the generator start and the rapid camp when we go inside. But those are just a couple of things I want to talk about. How about an awning? This is a dual stage awning. You have LED lights. You can control it with Rapid Camp Plus. You can control it with your phone. All you have to do is pair your phone to Rapid Camp Plus. You just hold down the button. The awning will come out. It's going to give you just beautiful, beautiful shade. There are wind sensors on it. So in the event it gets really, really windy, that is going to go in for you in the event you forget to put it in when you go out on an excursion. And that happens, right? We all get excited. We leave everything set up and it's out and the gust of wind comes up. You don't want any damage. This will prevent it for you. It's going to take and go in automatically. But I love having that awning out. 
We do have frameless windows here, those open awning style inside, just a couple of dials, those will flip out for you. We have a nice gentle breeze blowing right now. If I had long hair, this would be a great pose, right? But I, I don't. But breeze like today will go right up on in and keep you nice and cool. And this is framed in aluminum. In fact, we do have an aluminum structure in here. We do have our wall board. We do have the block foam insulation. Then we do have our uh, aluminum frame. And then we do have the outer fiberglass. And those are vacuum bonded together, as well as the floor and the roof. That is a one piece cross flex roof on top. That is actually a synthetic thermoplastic, very durable, puncture resistant, easy to maintain, easy to clean. You're going to love having that on board. And because of the way we build our structure, that is why Thor Motor Coach gives you a 12-year structural, six-year lamination, and one-year limited warranty. That's a great peace of mind to have no matter where you happen to travel. As we work our way down, do have some decent storage on this. This is just a really large storage bay here. You do have aluminum slam latch doors on this. This is it's aluminum, they lock for you. Uh, you have 34.8 cubic feet of storage, just a touch of pass-through in this one. You could maybe put a couple of fishing poles. You do have lights in here that you can control with Rapid Camp Plus. You can control those from your phone or from inside. And these are a nice, durable rotocast. It's a, it's a nice, heavy-duty plastic, essentially, that isn't going to mold, it's not going to mildew, it's not going to rust, it's easy to clean out, it's easy to wash. It's a great, great feature to have in your storage compartments, and we have more storage compartments to show you, but not before we show you your outdoor outlets. These are great to have if you are entertaining outdoors, or maybe you're going to plug in uh, something, maybe a pump to, to blow up an inflatable raft because you're going to go tubing down the river, or the kids uh, want the floaty at the pool. You can plug in your pump here. You do need to be plugged into shore power or have your generator on in order for these outlets to work. As we work our way down, uh, outlet for the furnace, you do have some access ports for the fridge. Over here, you do have one of two generators. This is going to be your optional quiet diesel 3200 watt generator. Standard is a 4000 watt propane generator. Uh, we'll talk about the Auto Gen Start when we walk inside and show you Rapid Camp Plus. As we work our way back, tankless hot water. You do have some storage here. And you have a little bit of storage here. So some nice storage compartments right over here. Last feature on the campsite I want to talk about is your exterior propane connection. This is great when you have a grill that you want to bring along or maybe a portable fire pit or cooktop, whatever it may be, you put right into here and you set it up and now you have an outdoor activity, be it cooking or just sitting around a gas fire. Now we're going to show you how to fill your propane on the other side. Remember this is going to be a regulated connection so if you don't have the flames that you want at the grill or your fire pit or whatever it may be you're going to want to take and adjust the regulator on that and not on your Tiburon. Closing up our bays as we walk around back. A couple of items I want to point out back here. You do have a camera right up top. That is going to show up in your rear view mirror. You're going to love having that. It's very reminiscent of your daily driver where you know you look in the rearview mirror and you see what's behind you well same sort of situation here because of that camera you can take and you see notice there's no rear window here right to look out of that camera is going to show you everything that is behind you including whatever you have hooked to your 5,000 pound hitch you do have your seven pin connector right there and remember when you are towing we showed you the OCCC in the door. You got to keep that in mind. But what you do is you're going to take your GCWR. You're going to find those specs on the Thor Motor Coach website, and you're going to subtract that from your gross vehicle weight. Keep those numbers in mind, and you will tow safely. When you are setting up the Tiburon, couldn't be easier. It's user friendly. It's got a great home, whole home filtration system. And I'm going to walk around and show you how easy it is to hook up this Tiburon. We have a lot to talk about over here. Before we talk about sewers let's talk about something you're going to enjoy how about the way the tiburon looks the paint you see behind me right here this is called winslow we have two other colors of full body paint we have red mesa that is gorgeous and the blue you see here this is called gulf shores you can't go wrong with any of these durable 
full body paints. These are Sickens paints. This is a high end paint. It never fully cures, which is actually very, very beneficial. It's used on a lot of high end vehicles, including McLaren's F1 car. So a great paint that you have on your Tiburon. Now let's talk sewage. Right down here, we do have our whole home filtration system. So there's a lot happening in here. Uh, you do have a 30 gallon fresh tank on this. Your gray and black tank are gonna be 38 gallons each. So this really does everything for you. You can hook up your cable right here. It just takes coax. I brought some coax right here. You would just plug that into here and then you would plug the other end into your campsite. And now you do have cable and you're gonna be able to switch that. We'll show you inside. If you wanna flush your tank, you do that right here. You do have your city water connection here, your sanitizer winter rise right here. And what's nice is the way this Nautilus is set up. As you can see on the label here, it depends on how you put the handles. So you have, you know, the green here and the blue down, you're gonna sanitize, or you can fill the tank, or you can dry camp, or you can put your city water in. So however you wanna do it, whatever you're doing, just follow the simple directions here and you will have no problem. As we drain our black tank and our gray tank, right down here is the connection. So you just latch that on like that. You're gonna go ahead and you're going to pull your black tank first. You're gonna let that drain. You will wear gloves, okay? This is a brand new Tiburon, so there's nothing in here. We're the first ones to use this. This is factory fresh. After your black tank is drained, you're gonna go ahead and you are going to pull your gray tank. Then after your tanks are empty, go ahead and close up your black. Then you close up your gray and you are ready to go until next time. So how about we get some power to this coach? This is a 30 amp coach. This is going to be your outlet. It is a detachable 30 amp cord, so you can store it in any of the bays that we showed you. All you gotta do is just take, plug it in, you twist and you lock that on. That way, if somebody's running through the campsite or an animal, El Chupacabra runs through the campsite, they're not gonna take and unplug this. Now, before you plug it into the breaker at camp, make sure it's off and then plug it in, then go ahead and turn the breaker on. It's just that easy. Now you have power to your Tiburon. As we work our way down, another storage bay for you. They do have locks on there. You can keep that propped up. This is great for a couple of fishing poles in here, maybe uh, some umbrellas, maybe a little toolkit, whatever you want. Put whatever you want in your storage bay. So it's your Tiburon, you can fill them up with whatever you need for your adventure. Right over here, another large storage bay when you want to drain your fresh tank when you are done. That's where you're gonna do that. Nice, uh, nice easy valve here. Put whatever you need in this rotocast bay. And then over on this side are the brains for your slide wall. If you ever need to troubleshoot, there's instructions right on here. It tells you what the flashes mean and you can reset it real easy with your little finger or a pen or something like that if the motors ever get out of sync. As we close up our aluminum slam latch bay, and open the last one on this side. This is our propane. We talked about our propane connection over here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that is on. Get this filled before you use it. It is a new tank, so you're gonna to need to purge it. It's easy as that. That is your propane tank. And again, that is going to fire up uh, your hot water and it is going to fire up your furnace. Right here is we're gonna fill up your 26 gallon diesel fuel tank. Real easy to remember what side it's on. You as the driver, right around your shoulder, 26 gallons of diesel fuel, fill her up and head out to wherever it is you wanna go. Then enjoy living inside your Tiburon. And I cannot wait to show you everything in this floor plan, including the Ultra Trick Murphy bed. Here we are inside the Tiburon. I love the way this looks. Let's talk about the decor because it is absolutely gorgeous. These are Italian design techno form cabinets. The color you see here of decor is silver strand. These are luxury gray cabinets. Your other option is called Cafe Mocha and the cabinets are called Miami Modern. Now, whatever color you go with, you're gonna love having these lightweight cabinets. Now, Technoform is known throughout the marine and RV industry for lightweight cabinets. They are very, very durable. I like the gloss on there. They hold a lot. You can fit whatever you need behind here in your Tiburon. Nice, soft, closed hinges. So very, very nice, and you have them everywhere. We'll talk about the cabinets when we get to the kitchen. 
but you can see here with the slide in, you still have plenty of room. You can, you can walk back here, you can get to the fridge, you can get back to the bathroom back here. Now, the one question we get a lot is, can you put the Murphy bed down with the slide in? The answer is no, no, you cannot. You have to put the slide out. Why don't you say we do that right now? Now, the coach does have to be running and the parking brake has to be on. We do have the coach still running. So here we are at Rapid Camp Plus. On your home screen, you can turn all your lights on or off. You have access to your climate controls. You can check the tank levels. You can turn on the tank heaters we talked about. And your auto gen start features are right here on the home screen as well. You can see the voltage in your house battery and your chassis battery. Next button down is your auto gen start. You can go ahead and change all the parameters, your quiet time, your start time. Do you want it to start with voltage? Do you want it to start with temperature? All of that can be controlled right from here. At the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see something called Go Power. You press Go Power, that is going to bring up the solar controller. Yes, 100 watts of solar come standard on your Tiburon and you can keep track of your solar charging right from this screen. You can always go right back home by pressing the home screen. Next button down is for your lights. Lights on or off from here, you can dim them. If there is an arrow going up or down, real easy to dim right from here. You can control the light in your cargo bay, the step well, the awning, all your lights right from here. Next button down is for your climate. And remember, when you are firing up the AC on this 15,000 BTU unit, you're gonna to wanna to take your ambient temperature into consideration uh, and don't set your thermostat more than 10 to 15 degrees below that because you'll freeze up the coils. Best time to set your thermostat is either at night when the sun's down when it's cool or early in the morning. That way you can keep that coach comfortable because if it's 95 out and you think, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down to 65 degrees and really cool things down fast, that's not gonna happen. You will, you'll have a very hot and miserable trip. So make sure you are following that. Your furnace is operated from here. Remember your propane needs to be on or you can just simply hit auto. And when you're in those weird funky times of year where it is freezing at night and hot in the day, this will automatically cycle between the AC and your furnace for you. Next button down controls our slide rooms. So let's go ahead and extend our slide wall right over here. Now remember when you are putting your slide out, the engine needs to be on, your parking brake needs to be on as well. You hit the extend button and we are opening our Tiburon up. Look at all the room that you have in here. Just keeps on going, a great living space in here. On this screen is also where you are going to control your awning. And when the engine is running, the awning will be locked out and you're gonna get a little lock. So in order to take and put your awning out, you need to make sure that the engine is off. And finally, our last screen, a number of different settings, mobile app, that's where you're going to connect to the mobile app. And you can see your floor plan, you can set the time, you can set the screen to auto brightness so it's not too bright at night. There's also a cleaning mode which takes and turns the screen off and then you take and you wipe it and you have a nice clean screen. Down below is our Bluetooth coach radio system, DVDs, music, it's Bluetooth. It's a great way to get yourself some tunes or some favorite shows. And right down here is the on and off switch for the diesel generator right here. And remember the diesel generator is the option and the propane comes standard. Now that we have that set, so I'm gonna pop up here real fast and turn off our engine and we are going to talk about all of the great features now that we are opened up and we have all the room to to move and to breathe and to just live in our Tiburon. Let's talk about our dream dinette. Love having the dinette for so many reasons. One, it's it has seat belts in it for the ride, okay? So you're going to have seat belts if you have passengers. You do have a child seat tether right back here. It is really just the the go-to utility place, right? You're sitting here, you're having a meal, you're playing games, you, uh, you're watching TV, you have the backrest right back here so you can, uh, you can kick back, you can watch TV if you'd like to. Real easy to do. There is wireless charging. I love the wireless charging feature. All you need to do is just set your phone right there and boom, wireless charging. If you do not have wireless charging, underneath the little uh, tab here, USB-A and USB-C, you have built-in cup holders, which is great for passengers for the ride, and those passengers, 
you want to sleep here as well. You can turn this into a bed. All you have to do is turn the handle and then you push this down and we got flowers up there so we don't want to uh, break the flower vase but turn the handle, flip it down and then you move your cushions into place. Obviously you clear the silverware off because you don't want to sleep on a fork unless that's what you're into. And that's all right. It's your Tiburon. Do what makes you happy. But this makes into a bed. You also have an overhead bunk for sleeping. 500 pound capacity. You have a skylight and you do have privacy shades for the windows and you have a ladder that is stored in the back closet here. Real easy to put up. You just grab the ladder, you put it up and you are climbing up into the bunk and you are having a great night's sleep. Do have a charging port right over here. Uh, you do have some USB-A charging ports over here and you have another wireless charging right over here in the kitchen. So there's all kinds of charging port. There's all kinds of little, little nice touches in here for you. Again, you have the wireless charging. We're going to move our recipe for strawberry sundaes. And if you don't need the wireless charging, you want the 110s or you want USB, you just pull this up. And now you are taking and you're plugging in your blender to make those strawberry sundaes. You have USB-C and USB-A, but look at all the counter space you have in here. So a couple of switches here, you're going to want to keep them. This actually makes a really nice nightlight when you do have guests. So you have all the counter space. If you need more counter space, you have the cover for the sink, or you can just take this off and stow it and you can wash up in the single bowl sink. You do have the nice pull down sprayers right there. So much cabinet space in here. What are you going to fit in here? I mean, and they're tall too. You can see from this video, you can fit whatever you want inside of these. You even have storage behind the TV. So you can go ahead and put uh, whatever you need back here. So a lot of great storage options in this Tiburon. You do have a number of cabinets down below here. So a lot of storage down below. You have a number of drawers down below as well. Lots and lots of storage here. You do have your two burner gas cooktop. This does have electric start. Remember your propane needs to be on. Press the button. You are now cooking with gas, just like that. Whatever it is you need to make, you can do right here or right down here in this convection microwave. And I love having a convection microwave over an oven and it's a, it's a preference. And one of the things I really like, especially in a coach like this one, you're not gonna get the heat from the oven, okay? You're gonna be able to cook in the convection, you just hit the convection button on the microwave. And what this really does is it circulates the hot air in it. It works very similar to an air fryer. You can bake in here, you can air fry in here. You can also use it as a regular microwave. There are different modes and features. So great cooking options from the cooktop to the microwave in your Tiburon. You do have a double door fridge, more storage up above, and the piece de resistance the powered Murphy bed. This is a queen size Murphy bed, right? So right now it's a couch and you're on the couch. You're like, I'm loving this couch. I'm hanging out. I'm talking. I'm having a good time. You know, you got a 12 volt port here. Uh, if you have a portable CPAP machine, you have more USB ports. You have a G F C I port down below. So if uh, something, the electrical circuits aren't working, check this, make sure that is not tripped. Uh, you do have a rapid camp plus control panel here uh, for, for different lights. You can start and start your generator from here and control the lights on or off. In order to put this bed down, all you have to do is move your cushions, right? So you get those out of the way and then you take, you make sure the switch is on and then you hit the down button. When it gets out to about, let's say here, you do have the legs. You go ahead and you fold those down and then you go ahead and you put this down the rest of the way. You tuck that in all nice. Queen size Murphy bed. You have a privacy curtain right here. You can go ahead and pull that. Now you have separate quarters. So whoever is up in the overhead bunk or sleeping at the dinette, you do have your own little privacy back there. You have charging ports back here on this side of the wall, you have a nice net to keep your phone in and you do have three cabinets up above. So a lot of room in the, in the bedroom here. And then in the morning, you don't even have to make the bed. You can leave your stuffed animals back there. You get the bed to about there. And then you go ahead, you pull this, you fold the footrest down, you flip that back up, finish putting it away. You go ahead and you put your cushions back in place. And just like that, it is back to sofa mode. As we move on down, a lot of things to talk about here. We do have two large closets in this Tiburon. Your first is going to be right here. 
A lot of hanging space in here. You do have drawers down below. And down below that, you do have your fuse box. You do have 110 and 12 volt in here. So if something is not working, check out your fuse box. Right back here in the bathroom, large bathroom. Love this bathroom. You have a nice big medicine cabinet back here. You do have uh, your shower. I want to talk about your shower real quick, especially when you're out in a Tiburon and you do have people with you and you're thinking, all right, hey, make sure, you know, and you're not connected to city water, you're just dry camping uh, or you're somewhere where there's not a water hookup and you're thinking, oh, don't use all of the water in the fresh water tank. This is great. Shower miser. What this is going to do is make sure that you have hot water when you want it. You're not going to fill up that gray tank and you're not going to waste water. What happens is you turn off the valve for the shower miser and the water circulates and circulates and circulates and it gets hot. Tankless hot water on this, by the way. And then when the water is hot, that little blue piece you see right here turns to a nice whitish color. Now you flip the lever and now you have hot water. You have not wasted a drop of water. You're now taking your hot shower. Remember, it's tankless hot water, so everybody, everybody gets a hot shower in the Tiburon. The controls are right back here. You do have your foot flush toilet. You do have, again, the large medicine cabinet. You do have your sink. Nice storage down below. And another large closet right over here. This is, uh, hang whatever you need in here. You have drawers back here as well. So much storage in here. You even have in this closet, Love this little feature because you never run out of seating options in your Tiburon. All right, real easy. Little pedestal table. This fits right between the seats and it looks just like this, right? So maybe you're gonna do a little work here. Maybe you're gonna have a morning coffee, read the paper, plan out your excursion. And what's really nice is you can do all that no matter where you are because this Tiburon comes equipped with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. So no matter where you are, Internet, your own hotspot. This is the way to go, right? So you have the antenna on the roof. You can put in a SIM card from your favorite carrier. You can get a data plan from WineGuard. You get into the computer, you log in, you get everything set up, you set your password. This also is a Wi-Fi extender, so you can use that same password. Now suddenly you have internet no matter where you are, even when you're traveling. So you can go ahead and this is what's great watch TV while you're traveling. You can connect a gaming console or you can connect a streaming device to the TV. And with that signal from the wine guard, you can now pull in whatever you want, no matter where you are to watch your TV. We showed you a hook up the cable. You can go ahead when you're connected to the campground and watch, uh, watch whatever you need from there. So some great options there. And the drive on this is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the driver's seat here. So uh, a lot to do. You have push button startup here, the gauge cluster. Oh my gosh, what do you need to see? You have it all, speedometer, your tachometer, all sorts of information. Uh, traction control, warning lights. This is a multi-function display. The steering wheel, it looks like it's right out of a spaceship because you have so many buttons here. You have a touch pad to see your trip meter, so many drive assist features. There's navigation. Your entertainment features show up here as well. The other side over here on your right controls the media. It is voice activated. You can scroll through all the options. Uh, you can bring up so many. What do you want to see on your, on your Tiburon? You can see it all right from here and you never have to take your eyes off the road. Now keep in mind, this is not RV specific navigation. So you're going to want to keep that in mind, but uh, you can get RV specific navigation thanks to RoadPass Pro. That comes free when you buy your new Thor Motor Coach. It's four apps, Campendium RV Village, uh, Road Trippers, and Togo RV. It's a great social community. You can connect with other campers on the road. You can plan out your trip. You can find places to camp for free, places with the best cell phone coverage, uh, and it does offer you the RV-specific GPS navigation. Uh, your climate controls are up here. There are hard buttons as well as the touch screen and all of the steering wheel controls. There is storage everywhere up here. You have this neat little place up here to store and charge your phone wireless charging and then you connect it into your infotainment center and now it is really hands-free from texting to calls whatever you need to do you can do right from here now how are you going to get there you're going to put the hammer down on this three liter v6 engine that's 188 horse at 3800 rpm let's talk torque 
325 pound-feet of torque. The torque curve on this Tiburon is great because it comes in at 1400 RPM, which on this is right around an idle or so. So the power is there when you need it and it's tied to a seven-speed automatic transmission. You have seven gears for better fuel economy, a quieter ride. I like the paddle shifters. You can paddle shift. We showed you the automatic heated seats. You have auto headlights. You have an emergency start button up here. So if something happens to your chassis battery, you press the button and you can start this Tiburon with your house batteries. So many great features on this Tiburon. You're going to love driving it. I mean, from the storage to the living space, whatever it is you need to do, you can get out there and explore. And I encourage you to explore everywhere now's the time to hit the road in your tiburon because it is going to take you places you only thought you could look at in a magazine not the case get in your tiburon put the hammer down because in a tiburon it's not about having time it's about making time i'm steve deval and we will see you soon